What's up guys? It's Emily Chapey here and welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to be doing is intuitive shopping. Come along with me. Have you ever even heard of intuitive shopping? Well, if you haven't, today I'm going to tell you all about it and you're going to come along with me on one of my trips to go intuitive shopping. So, first things first, I always, always like to bring certain things with me whenever I do this type of adventure. I always bring reusable bags, lots and lots of reusable bags. Next up, I love to bring a certain crystal with me, one that I'm feeling, one that's like speaking to me, and today, none other than Appetite is speaking to me. Pretty funny, huh? Appetite. That's the first thing. You don't want to go to the grocery store with an appetite where you're going to be buying everything. So that's another thing that I do. The third thing that I do is I eat before I go. Then the fourth thing that I do is I don't make a list. I just meditate for like 10 minutes on how my body is feeling. I think about what it is I want to put into my body and one of the things I love to tell my friends is that whatever you're putting into your body determines your appetite for life. So if you're eating a lot of Cheetos, like you're going to be determined to do absolutely probably nothing but sit on your couch and binge watch Netflix. So if you're in a binge watching Netflix mood, buy all the Cheetos you want, but I promise you your digestive system is definitely not going to thank you for that. Intuitively, that's me speaking. <laughs> Next up, I forgot to tell you a little bit about this appetite right here. My appetite's pretty good, but this appetite, basically what it's going to do is going to help me pick out what foods that I feel like I need. It's going to give me the energy to be very, very connected with my digestive system, my throat chakra of what I'm going to put into my body. And it's going to help me be very mindful. It's like those people who have their paper clips in their pocket and they touch it during public speaking to keep their mind on track. Well, this stone, this crystal in particular, is going to keep my mind on track with my intuitive grocery shopping. So thank you, Appetite, for keeping my appetite under control. So. Now that you know about that, what is intuitive shopping again? It's just going there and intuitively picking out foods because you've meditated, you listen to your body, and as you go shopping, you're going to let things speak to you. Be adventurous. Get a new fruit. Get, some, get a new vegetable and experiment and see what it does for your body. See what it does for your mind. I promise you, you'll have fun with it. And anywho, Come on and join me. I'm gonna be going intuitive grocery shopping today and I hope you like it and you enjoy the adventure. Hey, so here we are at the Common Market and I'm super excited to do some intuitive grocery shopping with you guys. And I've got my bags ready to go. Yes, lots of reusable bags. So come on with me, let's do this. Totally feeling Fuji apples. Totally. Yes. It's summer, so of course I'm getting strawberries 100%. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Strawberry. Okay, I have never seen this before. Has anybody else? Orange, watermelon. I am definitely going to give this a try. If you have ever heard of this, please comment below. I have not. I'm excited to try this. God, I love mushrooms and stuff like that. And then there's like tuna. Look at all of this. Yummy, yummy food. So many yummy things. We love making burgers out of portobello mushrooms. So this is a must. I'm feeling this. Totally gonna make me a burger. Any good dish requires some yummy sweet peppers. Some of my favorites to stick in my dishes. Look at all the rainbow, the colors. Definitely bananas. Holy bananas. This shit is bananas. E A N A N A S. Ooh, ooh. Never have enough of that. Getting cabbage. Cabbage is most, 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 most. Totally filling cabbage right now. I'm 
I definitely want to get some olives, filling olives, but specifically these kind. Ginger beer is a must. Always a must for the kids. So intuitively I'm picking this up for the kids. Because intuitively they're gonna bug me if I don't. Okay, just a few of my favorite things. This is gonna be for spaghetti with my vodka sauce. I want to try the hot Italian. I haven't tried the hot Italian yet, but I am going to now. CBDs are a must, you guys. For me, at least. Lovely. So my favorite go-to honey is the raw manuka honey. Okay, factor 16. Love this stuff. It is very spendy, but it's been full of day. It's just so good for you. These are my weakness, the sea salt caramel, coconut rice pudding, and I'm definitely wanting some. Beans, beans. Good for your heart. No, you eat them. Lentil soup. Oh. You guys, I ate before I came, but I am a sucker for lentil soup. Ooh, this one looks good. I think I'm going to do this one, and it's vegan. Some of my favorite go-tos. Favorite. When I'm too lazy to juice my own juices. God, when you're too lazy. lazy. Hey guys, so that was my shopping journey for intuitive grocery shopping at the lovely Co-op Common Market. And I hope that you guys saw everything that I got of what I felt that I needed and what I was craving in that moment. And I definitely ate before I left. So those were just more intuitive connecting with my body decisions. I definitely want ginger beer. I'm kind of craving something sparkling and with a kick. So I don't drink alcohol and that's my go-to. And I'll definitely lay it all out so you guys can see everything I got. It was a small trip but that's what intuitive grocery shopping is about. It's not about going haywire, going crazy. It's about really thinking about the things that your body wants and needs. So, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll be able to see everything I got. Pretty good, that's the first time I've ever filmed inside of a store. And I did get permission. So, whoop. All right, here's everything we got from the grocery shopping trip. Say hi, Anna. Hi. Don't mind the big pool ladder in the background because we were cleaning up the patio. But we got the sweet peppers, the pretzillas, cabbage, kale, and sweet potato chunks, the hot Italian sausages. Do you want some? Yeah. <laughs> And then we got the Beyond Beef, grounded beef. Just so many good things. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited to try this and orange this watermelon. Is good for you. What is good for you? That's right. You're killing it. <laughs> and this is good for you. That's right. Are you gonna eat it? Now it's peppers. <laughs> you said no, it's peppers, but you're telling me it's good for me? You guys, this is the intuitive haul, the intuitive grocery haul. 
And I can't wait to open one of these in just a minute. Ginger beer. Dude, this is better. Yeah, the avocados? Yeah, all the avocados. You love avocados. Yeah, give me an avocado. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, so everybody, bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Say subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. And what else, Autumn? Um, turn on notifications. Turn on notifications. <laughs> yeah. Give us a huge thumbs up. All right, peace out, guys. That was the intuitive grocery shopping adventure. Yeah! <laughs>